just been running around doing random errands today and found these giant pillows at home goods it's not entirely the right color but for the size that it is i figured if i don't love this it's like a little zipper so i can just take these off redo it with any of the fabric that i already have all of the halloween fabric that i got the other day from joanne fabrics i'm gonna have to read what the actual size of this is though oh okay finish size 28 by 28 inches yeah this is definitely bigger than any of the pillows that i had in mind to make it's a really soft very Sherpa feel to it. Who knows? I might just leave it like this. I did want to open them up here. So this was not on my list of things to get today. However, Home Goods is starting to have their what is it, like spring and summer clearance, I guess, or markdown. That's probably a better word for it. And this is when I get my pillows. I knew that I wanted a couple of bigger pillows behind me. I have decent throw pillows back here, but I wanted jumbo ones. Yeah, these are really nice, especially just to curl up and crochet in. So what do we think? Do we like this color green? I have like Halloween ribbing that I can put around here, like little spider webs to hang from the outside of it. I don't know, but I have all tomorrow to go ahead and figure that out. The main thing that I was doing today is I went all the way to Hastings, Minnesota to go to Muse 2320, not to check out the yarn, although, you know, obviously I am going to check out the yarn every single time I go there. Sarah has this entire collection of tea, and at the moment, my apothecary, it's just, there's nothing left. Just been going through tea quite a bit, and now, I mean, it's raining today, it was raining yesterday, it, there's just there's something about that, you know, rain, thunderstorms, drinking some tea and crocheting that I really, really enjoy. So I wanted to make sure I had some on hand for today, which is now turning into tonight, very late. One of them that she has that is an oldie but goodie is the Graveyard Garland from our Po Box, our Po collaboration last year. This one was so good for obvious reason. There's hibiscus in it. I think this one has orange hibiscus rose hips. Like this is so good. I could drink this entire bag tonight. I'm not going to because I only have this one bag. Yeah, I need to like savor it here a little bit. Big chunky pieces of that orange and hibiscus in there. So freaking good. Yeah, I already have my tea kettle going, so I'm gonna at least have two pots tonight and then I will space it out here a little bit. But yeah, this is what I was going for to work on a little bit more of my blanket here. There were some really fun new ones. Okay, so let's start with the Black Dragon Pearls. This is a black tea, and it says steep three to five minutes. Here's what the pearls look like. It's a really cool type of tea. It smells so good when it's steeping too. Normally I like to drink this one in the morning, so I'm gonna save this bright and early. I'm gonna have that with my coffee. Another new one is the Minty Comfort Herbal Tea. So peppermint leaves, eucalyptus, lemongrass. I like to have peppermint tea right before I go to bed. But any sort of variation of that, I'm totally game. Otherwise, I just have plain peppermint tea, but with the little apple pieces in it. Oh, there's also juniper berries in here too. Smells really good. I like it when it's strong peppermint tea too. How long? Oh, good. Okay, one teaspoon per cup steep five to ten minutes so yeah this is gonna be exactly what i like in a peppermint tea this last one doppelganger it basically smells like an october hug that's the best way i can describe it like i'm sitting underneath a tree crocheting leaves are falling pumpkins are about ready to be turned into jack-o-lanterns I know I'm gonna go back for this one too. I just got one of each. It's almost like a dessert tea. I think I have to do at least one cup tonight. So what am I working on tonight? Yes, the goblin blanket that I have been slowly working on just ripped out like 20 rows last night. I just changed my mind along the way. So I had been working it up with this Hirschner yarn, the Halloween Sparkle in the color goblin. And I was just gonna keep on going like this, you know? I'm like, oh, it's making a pattern for me. I'm doing like a C to C stitch and that'll be totally fine. Well, I was watching a movie and for whatever reason, I was like, what am I gonna do with the Sorcerer yarn that is also the Halloween Shimmer? Even though I made that tote the other day, 
I have quite a bit of it left. So I was like, what do I do with it? And then decided last minute, genuinely right before I went to bed, that I want to make this a split blanket. So you can't really tell super well, especially since there is black yarn. But here's what the skein of yarn looks like. We've got orange, pink, black, a little bit of red in there. Is there any of the orange yet? Oh, right over here. You can kind of see it, but I am on the decrease of this. So I just pulled out the rows until I got to the end of the goblin yarn right here and then just started to decrease. And I'm like, okay, that's it, Kayla. That is totally it. We are officially stopping this blanket. I cannot put any more time and effort into this blanket. So half the blanket is three skeins of yarn. And in each skein, there is 489 yards. So three of those, and then on this side, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So I'm gonna use all three of these. And I have four, actually, I think. But one I had already used a little bit for that tote. So I should be totally perfect. That is officially it. I'm stopping this blanket. I am moving on from here. I'm gonna work on it quite a bit and just kind of power through it, especially now that I have these giant pillows. Okay, like let's look how that's gonna be. Remember, the theme is Punkoween this year. I don't know that I want to change this, actually. It's not really neon green. It's more of like a pastel green, but I feel like it works because I'm going to have a ton of neon things, a ton of glow in the dark, wall hangings and such. But I have time to think about it. I'm going to keep working on this blanket, leave this out. Actually, I should probably wash everything up here first. I did also see the tiniest bit of Halloween at Target today, not in the main section, but in their dollar section. They had some of the kids stuff out and then they also had some really cool, I don't know if they were cookie jars or just jars to put random stuff in there. It was bubblegum pink and then a teal color, which I thought was super fun. They had a lot of the pink ween action happening there. They had quite a few items out, almost two full rows, and there was a bunch of boxes on the end of the aisle too. I feel like maybe give it a couple more days and we might be seeing Halloween in the actual main section of Target. From everything that I've seen online so far, I'm pretty excited about it. It's the vintage Halloween. They're bringing a lot of that stuff back. I think what they're calling it is Neon Halloween. That's the line that I'm really, really excited about. Though they have a couple of lines that they come out with too. Since I got going so late today, I am gonna work a little bit on our C2C crochet long blanket. Hopefully I have time to work a lot on this goblin blanket just as much as I possibly can before I fall asleep. I do have the movie from our 100 Nights to Halloween movie marathon to watch. That way it'll at least keep my attention and I know, okay, here's how much time I have. Let's sit down and focus on this blanket a little bit. Before I inevitably fall asleep, it was just a really fun, packed Halloween day today. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a super spooky day as well and I will see you ghouls tomorrow.